Michelle Kwan's your leader right now. Fumie Siguri right behind her. And Ann Patrice McDonough of the U.S., your top three. As Yelena Sokolova from Russia takes the ice. What a turnaround. She hadn't been to the World Championships in five years. She ended up winning the silver medal in D.C. And she was wonderful at that championship. And she said, you know, she was really proud to be second after Michelle Kwan at the Worlds. But she said, you know, hopefully someday that will change. And she's the only one planning two triple triples in her program. And here comes the first one, triple lux, triple toe. Double toe. She may have double-footed that landing. You do have to admire her perseverance. Not only has she had that dry spell over the past five years, but much like Maria Butierskaya, the former world champ, when she was a youngster, she was expelled from her training group from the school in which she was taught figure skating because they said she wasn't going to ever be a champion skater. Well, I think this makes them really determined. Here's her second triple-triple she has planned, and she did it. A little squeaky on that landing of the triple toe. Very squeaky. I mean. But that was determination. a popped open loop if there ever was one. That's, that layback is just not up to the level of this kind of a championship. She has wonderful energy and a very exciting kind of, uh, you know, and very pretty kind of quality. But she throws a lot of moves away. It's unfortunate because then it would be more of a complete package if she would make all these details more important. double foot again and a very tight landing it's almost as if the, the skaters that come from Russia don't really take effect of what the Bolshoi the Kirov ballet ballet have done to the world of dance they're missing some of the stretch and the pull on it we see better lines with Sarah Hughes for example and and Patrice McDonough than uh, many of the Russian skaters where the tradition is longer and greater See, these arm movements don't really add up to anything, but yet she has wonderful jumping ability. Although that was a double loop, not a triple loop. It's almost as if the bloom is off the rose from the World Championship when the excitement of the moment, the definiteness of the competition held her through. You cannot rely upon those that element. You must be able to pull through with fabulous technique if you're going to do it time after time. Definitely a letdown after her silver medal finish at Worlds. Yelena Sokolova. And here was her opening attempt at her first triple-triple combination, triple lutz. That all went so well. 
and then right into this uh, triple toe, but only ended up doing a double. And this was her second attempt at a triple-triple combination. Triple Saukow, triple toe. Watch her go in to this takeoff back inside edge. And a little shaky on that landing and then right up into the triple toe. But a, and also a shaky landing, almost a two-foot on the that. Marks for Elena Sokolova from Russia. For the coach, air. Viktor Kudryavtsev. 5-2. First set, 5-2 five, 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 to 5-6. Five, 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 Wide four, range, Peggy, and you don't five, like to see that 5-2 if you're her. Well, she made so many mistakes in this program. She just doesn't have the whole complete package all together and those mistakes in the jumps. Five, Presentation, Dick. I mean, look, I mean, I don't think that 5-9 is justified. I don't care which judge is giving it. So, judges' placements from third all the way down to seventh, and Yelena Sokolova is in fifth place overall. When